I might also point out that I think what was particularly emotionally impactful about that pretender scene was the fact that he used the word disappear and that seems like such an emotionally impactful statement because it doesn't mean, it's, it's not corporeal, it's not physical, it's not about being dead, it's not having your body destroyed. It's about vanishing, being vanquished, and having cement, you drowning in cement, and having your body encased in cement, in con having your body encased in concrete, and just not having a corpse left over, not having something to bury as a f in your funeral, but just simply disappearing entirely and no longer existing as a person, like as an ex as a form of existential murder, far more than corporeal murder. It seems so shocking, so terrifying. But why is that so? Why is it that I'm more emotionally impacted by the idea of someone disappearing existentially as in they are disappearing from total existence and there is nothing left of them and no one knows where they went no one knows what happened to them and l the world goes on without them and yet it's not as impactful to deal with just simply having your body destroyed through a gun or a car or something like that or a knife I'm not sure why there'd be such a different emotional response to this, these two just such a different emotional response to these two different types of death even though both of them result in the same thing